Good morning, one and all. I'm Batma Priya, Assistant Professor in the Department of CSE of RMD Engineering College. Today, we are going to see the topic Supply Chain IT Framework under the subject Supply Chain Management. The Supply Chain IT Framework is the most important one in the supply chain of any business. It provides access and reporting of supply chain transaction data. It is an advanced system layer or a level of analytics which uses the transaction data to proactively improve the supply chain performance. There are many enterprise software which forms the foundation of a supply chain IT system. From an enterprise perspective, all the processes within the supply chain can be categorized into three main categories or three main areas. They are processes which is focused on the downstream, that is CRM, customer relationship management, processes which is focused internally, ISCM, internal supply chain management, processes focused upstream, SRM, Supplier Relationship Management. So the main three process, macro processes in any supply chain are Customer Relationship Management, Internal Supply Chain Management, Supplier Relationship Management. And all these categories, all these three macro processes, CRM, ISCM, SRM, rest on the Transaction Management Foundation or which is going to be the basic enterprise resource planning system for any business. When an enterprise performance is closely linked to supply chain performance, the firms first focus on the macro processes first. And this is the basic supply chain IT framework where the SRM, ISCM, CRM rest on the transaction management foundation. Now let us see the macro processes. The first macro process is CRM. So these involves the process which is being focused on the downstream, that is the customers. It involves all the process that takes place between an enterprise and its customers in the supply chain. First and foremost thing, once a product has been, so, uh, has been finished and it wants to be sold out to the customer, the first process which we have to do is marketing. Marketing is the most important one in any business and it is the one which judges your sales or profit. Based on, the, depending on the marketing only, the customer will come and buy your product. So how well you people are going to do the marketing makes you how well your products is going to be sold out to the customer. The next process is sell. So the next process after your marketing is the process of how the customers are going to come and buy your product. How you are going to sell the product. Whether it is going to be offline, whether it is going to be online, how you are going to sell the product. And the next one is, once the customers are going to make an order to your product, how are you going to manage these orders? Whether you are going to have a backend or whether you yourself is going, going to manage these orders and how you are going to deliver these products to the customers. Whether it is uh, home delivery or whether you are going to uh, give it in a retail shop or whether you are going to make it from the uh, warehouse itself and directly to the customers so whether you're going to put up a pickup sites so how you're going to manage the orders is the next big process so once the product has been marketed it's been sold with the sale and it has been orders have been managed and it's been sold out to the customer the next most important category is the service center for each and every product people are in need of warranty guarantee if they are feeling any difficulty in the product, in using the product, they are in need of the service center. So how well you are going to provide your service center? 
and how well you are going to be connected with your customers even after your post delivery to the of the product so these are the four important process which deals with the customer relationship management the next important macro process is internal supply chain management which involves strategic planning demand planning supply planning fulfillment field service strategic planning is the planning how is the planning of how you people are going to make use of the resources and you are going to build the product the next one is the demand planning how you are going to identify the demand from the customer side and based on the demand how you are going to provide produce the products and you are going to supply it to the customer is the supply planning so once this demand planning has been identified accurately and the supply plan is also been done effectively you are going to fulfill your customers so that is the fulfillment of the process so once the fulfillment has been over these all these four process have to be running smoothly and there should be field service because this is going to be involving of your manufacturer sectors where the products are going to be supplied or going to be manufactured and how each and every category whether the hr human resources or whether the equipments or the materials how you are going to service these products how you are going to make each and every resources in a well good manner is going to be very important that is your field service so these are the four uh, five uh, processes which are involved in the iscm internal supply chain management and there is a very strong integration between the iscm and crm macro processes the next macro process is supplier relationship management in the supplier relationship management there are again five macro processes micro processes they are design collaboration source negotiate buy and supply collaboration when you are going to do a product or when you are going to manufacture a product the designing is not going to be constant any businesses if you take the design will be on changing constantly and we are going to change the design of the product you also have to contact or you are also have to collaborate with the supplier who is going to give the raw materials because they also are involved in your design process of your product the next one is once the design has been over once the design has been confirmed with the supplier and as well as you you are going to source the product so here the, who is the supplier you are going to select from whom you are going to source your raw materials so this involves a big process that is how you are going to select your supplier based on the scoring and how you are going to negotiate and what type of contract you are going to uh, be uh, put up with between you so all these things will be coming under your source process so after sourcing after selecting a particular supplier you are going to negotiate with them and you are going to come up with the terms and conditions with the contract with the agreement and then once all these things are been collab uh, well, we finalized you are going to buy the raw materials from the suppliers and when there is going to be any changes in your demand the supply may be differing based on the demand so the supply collaboration should be there there should be a mutual uh, agreement or there should be a mutual understanding between the supplier as well as you the manufacturer so that uh, based on the demand you can get the supply from the supplier so there should be always a natural fit between the iscm and srm processes for a smooth supply chain running so as we have discussed this is the supply chain it framework where there are three macro processes srm iscm crm and for each macro process there are some micro processes like uh, for srm the design collaboration source negotiate buy and supply chain collaboration and for iscm strategy planning demand planning supply planning fulfillment and field service and for crm market sell call center order management and all these three macro processes rest on the tmf transaction management foundation 
and this is supply chain IT framework. Thank you.